All right, man, so look, we're back at it again with another crazy video. Now, my homie told me to react to this, all right? I have not watched the video yet. I just told him to send it to my phone, but I was, I was like, I'll right, react to it. He told me to react to it. Y'all know my boy, Rod. Shout out to my boy, Rod, man. He been on the channel. But look, we're going to go ahead and react to this. But before we get into the video, I need y'all to do me a big, 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 big favor. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on RG. Follow your boy on IG, man. Also, I got a podcast channel in the description box below. I'm on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Go check me out, man. I promise y'all, y'all y'all not going to regret it. You're not going to regret it, my brother and my sister. You're not going to regret it. So whatever I do, let's get straight into it. Okay, guys, we got an update on the whole Aqib Talib and his brother's incident from last Saturday in Lancaster, Texas, that left one football coach dead on the field after the altercation. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Texas that left one football coach dead on the field after the altercation. So for those of you who are new to this channel and are hearing about this for the first time, a fight broke out at a Pee Wee youth football game amongst the coaches and refs. And during this whole melee, which lasted about 20 seconds, shots were fired from Akib Talib's older brother Yakub that resulted in the death in one of the opposing coaches. Hold the, hold, wait, hold the, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. A PU? A P, what, what, what's it called? I know a piece something that that's a kitty football game. I'm not stupid, okay? Uh, hold on. Maybe I heard that wrong. That that no, that can't be right. Hearing about this for the first time, a fight broke out at a Pee Wee youth football. A Pee Wee U football game. Y'all fighting at a Pee Wee U football game, I, bro? At a Pee Wee U y'all fighting. Game yeah. amongst the coaches and refs, and during this whole melee, which lasted about 20 seconds, shots were fired from Akib Talib's older brother Yakub that resulted in the death in one of the opposing coaches, Mike Hickman, who died on the field in front of his nine year old kid. Yakub Talib has since turned himself into authorities. However, now we are getting an update from eyewitnesses who were present on the field, and a lot of the finger pointing is directed at former NFL corner Akib Talib. Anyways guys, I'm going to play you the clip of what transpired on the field during the fight, but before we get into it, guys, make sure you turn on notifications and smash that like button because this video is probably going to get demonetized due to the content. I'm so dumb. I'm so freaking dumb. God. This is like <laughs> at a Pee Wee U football game. I'm like, I'm literally lost for words right now. Y'all telling me y'all shooting at a Pee Wee U football game. First of all, y'all fighting at a Pee Wee U football game. Bro, it's a Pee Wee U football game. How can you get that mad, that intense over a freaking Pee Wee U football game? I'm just confused. I'm literally confused. And you know something that I don't like, bro? Something I don't like. Let me just go back real quick. This is something that I don't like, okay? I mean, look, we say BLM, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. And I know this is a tragic, this is a tragic situation. And maybe this is not, maybe this is, this is inappropriate to bring this up, but I just want people to realize this is why I don't support BLM. Now, my condolences go out to the family and friends of this one individual, okay? Because this, the individual that passed away, um, well, I don't know. They didn't say passed away. I think they said it got shot or died. I don't really know, okay? I'm just still stuck on the fact this was at a PUU football game. It can't, it can't be that serious, bro. Can't be that serious, but this is why I don't like. This is, this is my problem with because I like to be united. I don't care if you're black, white, or Hispanic. I like to be united, and this is something that I don't like. A whole group, whole group of just black individuals fighting in front of kids. In front of kids that's just trying to play the game of football and have some fun. Some of these kids want to go to the NFL. Some of these kids want to be uh so just in the top you feel me some of these kids just want to be at the top and some of them are just doing it for fun but it's sad to say that at a at a kids game this is the things that you black people do at a kids game bro at a kids game i don't care handle your business off the field handle your business not in front of the kids though you feel me 
Y'all don't care. See, a lot of people don't care about this generation of kids that's growing up. I mean, this generation is going to be just the next generation. They the next generation. So we have to do the best we can. And I'm only 19. I'm only 19, but I still want to, I still want my little sister to, to, uh, see things that she need to be, uh, need to be seen, 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 you know what I'm trying to say. God dang it. Okay. I want her to see things that she need to be seen. I don't want her to see things like this. I don't want her to hear gunshots. I don't even want her to know what a gunshot is. I want her to think it's a firework. If she ever do hear a gunshot, you feel me? But that's just the way that I want my little sister to know. Cause I don't want her to grow up seeing stuff like this. This man lost his life in front of his nine-year-old son. That is ridiculous. Nine-year-old son that's just there trying to play football. First off, I gotta say this, but who brings a gun to a youth football game? Thank you. Who brings a gun? I'd even say, who brings a gun to that? Who brings a gun to a Pee Wee U football game? Who brings a gun to that, bro? Yeah, I understand this stuff gets competitive, but come on, man. These are literally nine year olds playing for fun. Anyways, in the video, you can see Akib Talib sporting the bucket hat during the fight, while his brother could be seen in a black hoodie. And it's being reported that the former NFL star was the one who instigated this whole thing. Coaches for the Dragon Elite Academy, the Team Hickman coach, stated that it was Akeem who incited the whole uproar as he made his way over to the opposing team sideline to yell at the refs. Dragon Elite defensive coordinator Marty Barnett said, Akeem started this. He was the first person to throw a punch. Out of all the people, he was the one person who could have de-escalated the situation. He was the one person we all would have listened to. He could have stopped it all. What happened was that after a penalty flag for a late hit on a North Dallas United player, it gave Dragon Elite a new set of downs in which they would go on to score the go-ahead touchdown. And this ultimately led to Akeem, who was on the other side, to lose his bind and march over to the other side and threaten the referees by saying, I ought to sock your bitch ass now. So as of this point, the situation was only between the refs and Akeem Talib, but everyone there could feel the tension boiling over as the emotion started to take over. Then shit hit the fan when the refs decided to call the game with 6 minutes remaining because they could not control the North Dallas coaches as they continued their verbal assault and threats on the officials. But what's interesting in this story is that the refs were actually hired and paid for by North Dallas as they hosted this event. In fact, many of the coaches on the two teams knew each other pretty well as they coached on the same teams before in years prior. But none of that mattered at the end of the game when both sides met at midfield to shake hands. The victim in all this, Mike Hickman, went over to retrieve his son's personal football that was sitting at the goal line when a man working the first down chains kicked the football into an area where the North Dallas coaches had gathered. And as Hickman went to retrieve the ball, the two sides began exchanging words. What followed next was Akeem taking a swing at Hickman who responded by striking Talib with a yard marker. So check it. Hickman is there all by himself surrounded by the opposing team's coaches who are fuming over the matter and get swung. It's sad because, bro, this is at a kid's game. I, I I can't get over the fact that this is at a kid's game. They just trying to, they're there to have fun. They're there to just, just be, just playing football. That's it. That's it. And then you people just come out, want to fight and do this and do that. And then instigate the fight, bro. Like, hey, come on, man. All this could have been, all this could have been avoided. All this could have been avoided. If people start using their common sense and be like, hold on, we had a PWU football game. Ain't no way I'm about to, ain't no way I'm about to just, fight over a over a penalty over a late call over a whatever bro it's a game it's a game at the end of the day whoever win lose it don't matter it's a game that they're not getting paid for simple as that simple as that these kids not getting paid for the game whoever wins wins it's, it's like i don't understand why people take it to the next level i don't understand that i never understood why people take it to the next level in sports it's not that deep it's not that deep man just really Throw away his whole life because he want to bring a gun to a PWU football game and shoot a coach right in front of his son, his nine-year-old son. That's that kid gonna be traumatized for the rest of his life. Probably won't never touch back on the field. Probably won't never sit back on the field. That man could have been the next in the NFL, but he probably will never touch a field again because of what he's seen at nine years old.
online. So what exactly did he do? He defended himself and retreated from a half dozen people. However, the coach was unable to escape and the group kicked him to the ground all while the older Tlee went in and laid five shots on him in front of his own kid. Five shots? This situation is so crazy when you think of it. The last thing I would ever think of at a youth football game is someone pulling out a gun. Most of these kids are playing to get away from all that nonsense on the streets, but as an adult, you bring this to a game? While eyewitnesses point to a key for starting this melee, I don't know if he could be held criminally responsible as he didn't pull the trigger. But that doesn't mean he'll go unpunished. I believe Akeeb is a part of the Thursday Night Football team on Amazon for this upcoming season. However, who knows what his future will hold. This was clearly a bad judgement call on the former DB and it's not like he has a clean track record from the past. He's had his own legal issues for assaulting a cab driver in Florida and resisting arrest and was issued a felony warrant for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Anyways, if there are any new updates- Bro. I, I come up with, I see these stories on the internet and bro, it's really sickening to me. It's sickening the fact that people are really like this. And then, you know, like I said, this is a tragic, tragic situation. But my whole thing is, I don't like the fact, and people say, why I don't support this type of energy? Why I don't support BLO? Because this is why, this is why. We do things like this at a PWU football game. At a freaking PWU football game, bro. Nine-year-olds, 10, whatever, however age, whatever age. It's like... Bro, do we not, can we not control ourselves? We can control ourselves to be like, let's handle this after the game. At the end of the day, it's just a game, bro. It's a game at a little kid's game at that. Man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation. This is honestly just a sad situation overall. I can't believe that dude lost his life in front of his nine-year-old kid. That is the worst feeling to ever deal with, to see you lose your father in front of your eyes over a disagreement not no game related not no street stuff but over a uh, over just an argument it's like dude i y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation man hit the like button subscribe to no post notification i love each and every one of y'all man god bless stay blessed peace